Hey, what's going on guys? My name is John Hammond and welcome back to another Python programming tutorial. And this one around we're taking a look at proxies. We're finally going to be able to set those up really, really simply and really, really easily. So it's taken as a keyword argument in our URL open function. And that's all. <laughs> so let's go find ourselves a, proc a proxy. Let's go to Google. And uh, let's just look up proxies. It don't matter. And hey... Free proxy list. There they go. Proxylist.hidemyass.com. Perfect. Let's just scroll down and see one that is close by us. Looks like this one from China is not that bad. It's got an IP address. It's got a port here. So we want both of these information. And we'll hop on over to idle. Import URL lib. You, and let's actually create a variable for proxy. And that's actually going to be a dictionary. So this takes the schema that's going for, which is always in this case HTTP, and that's all it needs to be. That's just going to be our key, and then we need actually the proxy itself. So it's IP address, and then specify its port with a colon, and the port afterwards. So where'd it go? Where the heck did you go? Did you update that quickly? Holy crap. Okay, no. There you are. Let's just take you. Okay, so now I've got that variable set up, and if we actually run before we use the proxy, let's actually check out um, something so we can see our IP address beforehand, just so you guys believe me. Let's go to httpbin.org and forward slash proxy, sorry, forward slash IP will get us our IP. And we just read this. Okay, so that's my current IP address. Now we want to know what it is after we supply a proxy. You guys know that we can supply proxies as an argument in our URL open function. So let's throw that in there. We're going to use it as a specific keyword argument because there are other things we could throw in this in this function. So let's specify it with our proxies. And then we'll use that proxy variable that we just created. Now when we run this, it takes a little bit because we're going through all of that networking to go through their, their proxy. And boom, there it is. <laughs> really, really simple. Now we're coming from their IP address rather than ours. All we had to do was specify that we're using HTTP, the proxy that we're going to use, its IP address, and the port that we're going through. Super simple, right? Super, super easy. We can build this into our own URL uh, URL opener object with the if we create our, our own class, if we subclass the thing and we use a, the super function to call the constructor with this proxy, because there's no variable for it in the objects in the, in the class kind of blueprint. But we can do that with the super function. If you guys need help setting that up and you're curious about it, you can just say the word. I'm not going to go through and demonstrate it because I think this is simple enough and pretty easy to learn and, and follow through. So, cool. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys liked it. And trust me, we're using that proxy right now with everything we open up when specify we're going to use that, prox that proxy. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you in the next tutorial.